I think that might be Nathan's group over there. Nathan's just like, I don't know. He's into it. Take your time. Should I ask him what my tears taste like? I know they're salty. Uh, yeah, get it, get it, get What's up? Up? Wouldn't it be a trip if I started dating your girl's girl? Not my girl. She all over the place. Are you kidding me? Now I'm a fraud? You know I can buzz down on him. I'm in the hive. It's time. I mean, it's just... We're having a breakthrough, y'all. I think we're gonna need some more taquitos. More taquitos, please. Okay. back for another episode of The Wind Downs. And joining us in the hot seat today is none other than, say it with me, Condola. <laughs> <laughs> Condola herself, the brave and talented Christina Elmore. Yes. Thank y'all ready to talk about episode three? I'm Pressure. ready. OK. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Yes, yes. Cheers. Cheers. In today's episode, we focus on Lawrence and Condola being new parents. You had just given birth in real <laughs> life when we started filming season five. What was it like to go through this storyline with all these emotions while being sort of a post-baby state yourself? It was a lot. And at first, I thought it was going to be a lot in like a, a bad way. Yes. I was like, this is going to be too much baby time all the time. But it was really cool, actually, to sort of be in parallel experiences, but very different sure. experiences. I appreciated I my so. husband so much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, I'm so glad not to be Condola in real life. But I also think, like, physically, it was a blessing, because I was very tired. Condola right. was very tired. Yeah. I had a little extra baby weight. Condola right. needed a little extra right. baby weight. <laughs> I also love that people thought in real life if you were pregnant actually by Jay. <laughs> so, Princess, as a man, being a father yourself, sure. how did you relate? I was pretty much a go with the flow father, but once I had my son, I was very much like, what's the poop like? What color is it? And so to watch Jay be worried about the weight and the this and the that, like I could really relate to not wanting to mess this up. And I could empathize with him wanting to get it right, but obviously doing a million things wrong. It was so enjoyable to watch, but so hard to watch, yeah. you guys. Can you just talk about what you did to kind of prepare to get into that <laughs> toxic environment? I was already so tired, sure. so worn out, like waking up in the middle of the night, then coming to work at 4 a.m., that like a lot of that energy was already there, and you didn't have to set a lot to get the fuse right. really lit. But I also think that Jay's a talented actor. The babies were so great crying in the middle of the argument. It was kind of perfect. Yeah. But I really tried to think about what does it feel like? I am so grateful. My mom was there with me. My husband is on it. He's not just getting kudos for changing a diaper. Right. Um, but what would it feel like if I was at home doing all this by myself? Yeah. Uh, and it wasn't that hard to imagine it. So right. <laughs> once I got there, we were able to sort of play. She's always been a character that we felt keeps everything super tight and together. And what is it like when it, her life isn't that way? Yeah. And I just thought you did such a great job of letting us into Condola when nobody else is around. I've had so much fun playing her as like, she has her black and yeah. her white and her hair is braided <laughs> and she is ready to go. But to see her like covered in baby food and yeah. tired and mad and not necessarily being fair all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because why should she be fair? <laughs> so many. Yeah. Feeling. I loved your support system of Kiki Palmer. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Those scenes were so enjoyable to have oh someone like Kiki Palmer have Condola's back, who in real life actually yes. <laughs> was strongly anti-Condola. Very anti-Condola. When I saw her name on the call sheet, I said, so for real? I said, first of all, she's hating on Condola from day one. But I will say, Kiki was wonderful. She and she great. came and she was like, you know what, I don't hate you. <laughs> I just. I just hate what it's doing to the characters and to the she journey. She was great. But she was so fun. And she was so great as the ride or die. She will ride yep. for so She will. So, hard. she will. so that final fight scene was obviously so painful for both characters. And after Lawrence leaves, what do you think changes for him? I think that there's a moment, I think, on that flight that gets kind of hectic and gets kind of crazy. But he realizes, he goes back and realizes that, yeah, I can be mad at Condola all day. I can escalate this and elevate this fight, yeah. or I can be a part of my child's life and yeah. make this work. And I think that happens to a lot of parents who co-parent, that you realize, yeah, I might not like you, and things went down, and we have this history, we have this baggage, but at the end of the day, this baby is our baby. Yeah. yeah. And he gonna be here. Yeah. And we are gonna be doing this for at least 18 years. So I think it's great when you can finally get to that moment and be like, what do we need to do to make this right, even though I still think you're wrong, and I, you yeah. know. We watched him 
think he could kind of have everything. Mm -hmm. And, you know, in many cases, men are able to have it all. Yeah. You know, he could, yeah. he could have lived in San Francisco and lived this separate life and popped up in his son's life when he could. But that near fatal experience really put things in perspective about what was most important to him and what he needed to prioritize. So picking up the phone and calling Condola to kind of meet her in the middle was his kind of wise choice in his olive branch. So yeah. we'll see where that goes. As always, thank you for winding down with us. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Cheers. 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 <laughs>